the intro is always like the hardest you don't know what to start what to say and should i say hey everyone like every other video or should i say hey y'all welcome back you have no idea what to say to begin with this freaking video okay take two hey everyone welcome to my channel today i'm doing a requested video i'm doing a review and swatch on the coastal sense hot pot so on these babies right here i have been mia for like two weeks or three weeks that's because i went on vacation went down to miami to get some sun and um then spent some time with my family here so i am back now from my vacation and i am starting with this swatch and review requested by a follower so let's get started and let's jump in right to these babies usually the price of the coastal sand hot pots are $1.95 i got them on sale i don't know i, I believe it was black friday that they were on sale for 95 cents each and for an eyeshadow, I don't think you can get any better than that. So I decided to buy 19 of them and try them out. Never really heard any reviews nor seen any swatches on the Coastal Sun Hot Pots, but since they were so darn cheap, I decided to get them, try them, and see whether they were worth it or not. Um, as we all know, MAC is the brand. Everyone knows MAC. I don't think there's anybody that does not know MAC Cosmetics. A single eyeshadow from them can run up to ten to twelve dollars, so that's up there. Makeup Forever even more expensive. Bobbi Brown even more expensive. So I don't think you can get any better than a dollar ninety five regular price or ninety five cents, like uh, how I got them. I've had them now for a year or two. I think I would say like two years now. Yeah, like two to three years now, and. I have to say, giving my brutally honest opinion, I'm not getting paid to do this review. I'm not getting um, sponsored by Coastal Sense. This is my honest opinion about this eyeshadow. I feel like they are very good for the price. Um, you get some pigmentation. I'm not going to say that they're extremely, extremely pigmented because they are not like with one sweep of a brush you have like so much. No. But they are amazing quality for the price. They are really good. I would say that if you're just starting out expanding your makeup or you want a cheaper alternative, I suggest to buy, you know, two or three. Try them out. They're only $1.95. Um, try them out and see what you personally think about them. I like them. I have to say I love them. There's some eyeshadows here that they are my daily go-to. And I have nothing really bad to say about them. So these are the 19 eyeshadows that I purchased from them. Excuse the palette. They're a little dirty. This is the... I'm holding them from my Z palette, which is a magnetic palette. So if you're buying single eyeshadows like I have here, they come like this. And of course, in a little plastic container each eyeshadow so you have to put them in a place so i bought this i think this palette was 20 bucks and you just put them in and they are very useful i love this um little palette very useful yeah i don't think i have anything other than what i said i guess uh what you may consider bad about them they're not that pigmented but they are very good quality and very pretty good consistency for their price. This one does not have a name, but last time I checked on their website, I think it said Steel Gray or something like that. But right now, the one I have is HP-ME18, and it's a steel gray color. I have no primer on my hands whatsoever. It's not matte. It's a steel gray. It's very pretty. Next, we have Boca Mocha. All right. So it is this pretty brown right here. It's another shimmery color. Next we have caramelized. So of course you're always going to get some colors and some eyeshadows that are more pigmented than the rest. Like this one for instance. Caramelized is much more stronger and much more precise and pigmented than mocha or boca mocha or steel gray. So this was with just one little swirl of my finger. I'm doing one swirl for each eyeshadow. And as you can see, this one is much more pigmented. You can see it right there. 
So that's caramelized, beautiful color, one of my favorites. Next, we have Coral Blossom, and I actually love to use this eyeshadow as a blush. And there you go, it's that pink. I would say this is more of a pink with a hint of coral. We have Peachy Copper, and I think I've used this in one of my videos. It's this one right here. I'm trying to get like a good, it is this one right here. So it's copper with a hint of rose gold, like a hint of pink. We have Burnished Brunette. This is a matte color. The best way I can describe this color is a, like a dark gray. It's this one right here. Dark gray is the best way that I can describe it right now. After that, we have one of my favorite browns, it's Blackberry, another matte color. So it's a brown with a hint of like burgundy color. It's my favorite number one transition color. It is Oatmeal Tan by their Coastal Sense Hot Pot line. Um, I don't think if I should, I don't think I should swatch this because it's my skin tone. It is really my skin tone color. It's, it's not gonna show, I will try. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't show because it's my skin tone color. It doesn't show. It doesn't show at all because it is my skin tone. And that's one of the reasons why I love it because it is amazing when you're trying to smoke out something, when you're trying to create some depth without color. It's just, I, I love that color. It's my number one favorite, favorite, favorite transition color. Next is Deep Roast, and Deep Roast is this beautiful burnt brown color, and it has little gold flakes. One of the reasons why I love it, because I love gold. So this is the brown, and it has some gold flakes in it, so I love it. As you can see, with throughout all the colors that I have swatched, Caramelized has been the one that has stayed the, more, the most intense. So there are some eyeshadows that are more pigmented than others, have more quality than others. So, I mean, you're gonna pretty much get that with a lot of brands. So for the price, you definitely get to see which ones are worth it. Um, caramelized and burnt, burnt, no. Caramelized and deep roast are really out there and very pigmented. Next is Amber Bronze which is a shimmery eyeshadow. It is this one right here. It's a shimmery brown. That is New Penny, which is one of the colors that I love as well because it gives you a perfect copper look. Okay, right there, right there, there you go. You can see it there. It's a very pretty shimmery penny color. That's why it's called New Penny. The next is Peach Silver. That's my baby girl playing with her grandma. <laughs> peach silver right there. So it's a peach silvery color. It looks a little orange on the camera, but it's it's not that orange. It kind of looks a little pink to me on the lid because I actually have it on right now and it doesn't look that orangey. We have Timeless Taupe. With matte colors, you're always gonna have a different consistency. When it comes to shimmery eyeshadows, they're just more silkier, more smooth, more velvety on the eye. When you apply them, when you swatch them, they're always gonna feel better than uh, matte ones. But because they're matte, they're gonna be more chalky when you try to swipe them and swatch them. Doesn't mean they're not gonna be as pigmented on the lid. So this is Timeless Taupe. This one is New Terrain, one of my favorite browns from their hot pots. So it's a red undertone brown. Then we have Barista, which is a more lighter brown, still with a red undertone, but a much lighter brown. So I love this eyeshadow. So you can see the dark, medium, light. It's just different undertones. This has more of a cool tone, this has more of a deep red, and this has more of a just burnt orange red undertone. Next is one of my favorite golds. It doesn't have a specific name, it just has like letters and numbers. It's HP-ME24. It's extremely pigmented. 
as you can see bronze I'm trying to get the camera to work with me it's not really working with me so if it doesn't show that well I apologize right now but I'm trying to get the camera to work with me here the next color is seaside bronze as you can see it's a brighter gold and this is a deeper gold then we have another letter number HP dash and E08 right there so you can see dark medium and very light it's more of a yellow than a gold and then the last one which I love this eyeshadow because I use it in the tear duct area to highlight sometimes I use it in my cheekbones to highlight when I want the center of my lid to pop out like right now I put some of this eyeshadow in there too it's called caramel ice it's this one right here is a beautiful highlight color for pretty much wherever you want to place it and that's it those are all the 19 colors that I purchased from Coastal Sense in their hot pot line and overall I have to say there's definitely ones that are much more pigmented than others definitely ones that are much more worth it than the other ones I love their sh most of all I love all of their shimmery uh, velvety eyeshadows because they are the most pigmented when it comes to mattes they're browns you really cannot go wrong with their browns other than that they're not bad for the price as you can see what I bought is shimmeries and browns I only bought two matte that are gray and kind of a blackberry burgundy purple one overall you cannot go wrong with a dollar and 95 cents so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys found this video very informative saw this these eyeshadows in a different light don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video i hope it was very informative on the coastal sense eyeshadow hot pots and um stay tuned for more videos to come if you have any request on looks or another review that you guys want me to do do not forget to comment below and let me know and i am gladly um and i will gladly upload it for you <laughs> thank you guys bye bye